Hey there, it's Matt Williams from UAV Hub, here today to answer one of the recent questions from inside the UAV Hub community over on Facebook. If you've got your CAA permissions to fly in the specific category and have an operations manual, do you need to update your ops manual when you get a new drone? And if so, when? The short answer to this is yes, whenever you want to operate in the specific category, you have to abide by the criteria laid down by the regulator. To do this, you need to ensure that the relevant information for any drone you're going to be using under your CAA issued permissions is contained within your operations manual. You also need to make sure that you've informed your insurer and that you have appropriate cover in place for the drone that you wish to use. And so you can be totally clear on this, you need to add the details of the drone into your ops manual as an amendment before you fly your drone under your permissions and not just pop it into your ops manual when you're about to renew your permissions with the CAA at your renewal point. Remember, your ops manual is a live document that should reflect the way you operate and the equipment you use at all times. Change your ways of working or your equipment and you need to update and amend your ops manual accordingly. So I hope that helps to clear this quick one up for you. If you'd like to join a friendly community of more than 5,000 drone enthusiasts and maybe get your question answered here on the channel, then you can join us using the link in the video description below. I've been Matt Williams. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, but until then, fly safe and blue skies.